Welcome Virgos and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 9th of August through to Sunday the 15th of August 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and the middle and right hand side will be your crowning wisdom message cards. So Virgos, let's jump straight in and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning message to the question, how does the soulmate of Virgo, sun, moon, rising and thank you. So, oh wow, we have waking the lion. Okay, beautiful. My angels and spirit guides, some of you may have Leo in your chart. Um, or you're connecting with the Leo and we've got higher view. Oh, wow. Do you know something, um, Virgos? Before I even started, I felt that this was going to be a powerful reading. And um, yeah, it is. Do you know something? This reminds me of the Lion Gate. I, do you know, I'm looking at the card and I'm thinking, what else does it... What else is it telling me other than you might have Leo in your chart or um, the person you're dealing with might have Leo in their chart? If you do have Leo in your chart, Virgos, it might be worth checking out the Leo reading because that was quite, um, yeah, that was a very deep read as well to do with one's soul journey mission. Very powerful, and I'm feeling the same power of um, that. Um, and I do see the royalty of that, um, the abundance, seeing things from a higher perspective. Thank you, and uncharted waters. Okay, let's just uh, see if we can just put these here like that. So we've got our uncharted waters. We've got a higher view. And we have waking the lion. All right, before I get too much into your cards, let's just pull your crowning uh, wisdom message cards. Let's see what comes out for you. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning wisdom messages for the collect thank you wow look at that cosmos ascend yeah i yeah this is a powerful read this is a powerful read okay and let's take one from the other pile my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me wow okay yeah spider woman beautiful all right Okay. All right, let's take a bit of a deep dive, uh, Virgos, into your week ahead, your crowning messages. What I am picking up, for those of you that I am reading for, you're coming in as the alchemist. There's a situation, whether it's re with regards to love or something outside um, of uh, love, and it could actually be with regards to your uh, soul purpose, your life journey, okay? Okay. You know that there needs to be balance um, and you understand, I feel, um, about aligning, aligning um, alchemy, um, giving and taking equally, being able to understand a healthy balance in a situation. You get that, you understand, particularly with, with, with regards to any kind of relationship, it's like you, I'm almost feeling like a Libra energy. Some of you may have Libra, I'm not seeing Libra here, but it may come out. But I feel that you really understand that balance of relationships. And this is what I feel that it, that you're going through, okay, this this week. With the waking the lion, I feel as if you're being guided that you do have the strength and the courage to balance something out. And I do feel that it is going to bring about a lot of abundance. 
prosperity, victory. But you've got that you've got the strength to do this. I am seeing the Lion's Gate portal here, to be honest with you. Not that I know what it looks like, but um, I'm feeling that energy. This is like a time of um, being really, really grateful for the abundance of strength and knowledge and power within you. With the yellow of this card, it also does remind me of your solar plexus. So you have knowledge and wisdom within you to balance something out. OK, um, because I feel that you're going to be seeing something from a very, very different perspective, definitely from a higher perspective. I feel as if uh, some of you may have that ability to move between realms. Again, the owl representing a lot of wisdom, a lot of yellow here. So your solar plexus coming in. With the green here, the green going into the blue, and you can see this looks to me like a heart shape. It feels as if you're seeing something from a higher perspective to do with matters of the heart. Something needs to balance, balance out. And I feel that this is very uncharted waters for you. It's really got your emotions all up in itself at the minute. But you're going in the right direction. You're definitely going on your true north. OK, there may be something that is behind you that you need to pay attention to. But I feel that Divine Spirit Universe is guiding you forward, almost illuminating something that you've got to express with your throat chakra that you might be feeling a little bit uncomfortable to express. But I feel that you have the power, the wisdom and the knowledge to do so because you need to see something from a higher perspective and notice the lamp is at a higher level than actually what's at, um, at view level. It's as though Divine Spirit Universe is coming in with an abundance of knowledge, wisdom, power to let you know that you do have the strength. You do have the strength to continue on your true north. And you do have the strength to go the distance. With the cosmos here, again, look at that, the cosmos ascend. I connect to oneness and expands my awareness. There is something, um, Virgos, that you are really, really being guided to look at from a different perspective, a higher perspective. But there is something, again, a lot of the blue coming in here, a lot of violet. It's like Divine Spirit Universe is trying to unveil your eyes for you to speak about something. I feel that you are being guided to know that you are divinely loved, ascending to a new level. And with this spider woman coming here, whatever it is that you are aligning, whatever it is you need to balance out, it's going to um, solidify your root chakra, the red coming in here very, very strongly. But I also feel that you almost need to apply some passion, tenacity. Again, the strength and courage of the lion coming in here. Something has woken you up that you need to either see or Divine Spirit Universe is trying to show you something that you need to speak when it comes to your emotions. And as you do so, I feel that you're being guided to co-create with Divine Spirit Universe, this is a time for you to weave the web of your future that is going to create a solid foundation for you, for you and the person you're connecting with. But I feel it's going to allow growth, growth because there will be balance. It's like Divine Spirit Universe is coming in to say, Either continue co-creating with me to create the future that you want for yourself. You may be feeling a little bit like you're in uncharted waters, but you have the strength and the power and the courage because they've given it to you. Divine Spirit Universe, particularly with this um, Lion's Gate uh, that's opening up tomorrow, 
and so I'm doing this on the Saturday on the 7th um, and the the portal is opening up um, tomorrow on the 8th of August. This is a very powerful time for you. It almost feels as if you're being guided to change the course that you're on to continue on your true north. But I feel it's something that you need to speak in terms of emotions that actually you're a little bit uncomfortable to do, but you kind of know you need to do it. And I feel the wisdom is it's going to ascend you to the next level of your spiritual journey, the next level of your relationship. And it's going to solidify what how you want things to roll out between you and this person in the future. Hmm. Okay, Virgos, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push the video out to other Virgos seeking um, a general weekly message in love. Um, but also as well, uh, it does help to support the channel um, and um, it does, if you do subscribe, um, you will get those notifications of when I am uploading uh, new messages. For returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you for all of your support, donations, um, encouragement. I really, really do appreciate it. And I really hope that you get a useful and meaningful message out of this week's reading. Virgos, you can also find me on Instagram and TikTok. So feel free to join me on those social media platforms. I welcome your encouragement and support there as well. Let's get into your love, main love message now. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus... Feel towards them in love. Week commencing Monday the 9th of August through to Sunday the 15th of August 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Virgo that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. All right, let's see how this is resonating with you and your soulmate specifically. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Some of you are dealing with a Leo or you've got strong Leo in your chart. No word of a lie here. That is not even funny. With the page of wands coming in here, I feel as if you're going to have unexpected communication from uh, whoever you are connecting with. It's something that you're not going to be expecting. It's going to require you to look at the situation from a higher perspective. I feel as if it's going to take a lot of strength and courage for you to respond to this message. With the reefs around here, you may see this person as marriage material. But something is going to awaken in you. You're, whatever they're going to say, I feel as if it's going to, you're, you're going to feel like you're in uncharted territories. But you're being guided to stay connected with divine spirit universe. Because this whole situation is going to level you up. Level you and this person up to co-create what you want in the future. Look at that. I can't even make that up. Nine of Wands. There's a conversation coming in. And I feel as if you are going to be quite protective over yourself or you're going to see this person as being quite protective. Yeah, what did I just say? You're going to feel really um, uncomfortable with what is it that they're, they're saying. You know that this person is for you, but whatever they're going to say, they, you know it's going to take a lot of strength and courage to respond in the way that you need to. Yeah, and look at that, the Ten of Swords. You're really worried about what it is you've got to say. You may get the message via text message, but I feel that you are, I feel that you're, I feel that you are a bit confused. Like, where is this coming from? Feeling a little bit kind of hurt, regretful, 
over maybe conversations in the past or you're just, I feel like you just genuinely feel a bit scared about whatever you speak. It's like, you know, whatever you've got to say to this person when they come in with this swift communication, you know that it is, it is literally either going to make or break this relationship. And I was picking that up from your crowning messages. I feel as if you're going to feel really conflicted and you're going to be like, I, I don't know what's going on here. Like, it's going to be so unexpected, Virgo, that you're being guided um, that balance needs to happen here. And I almost feel as if this conversation that you're going to be having with this person is you're setting a precedent of how you guys are going to communicate with each other in the future. Your root chakra solidifying how you guys are going to communicate and how you're going to work out difficult, challenging conversations. Just know that you have the strength and the courage within you. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify? How does the soulmates of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 9th of August through to Sunday the 15th of August 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Thank you. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, this person at one point, I felt that they saw you as marriage material, long-term commitment. Somebody that was divinely guided into their life. Um, for whatever reason, that's in reverse now. Could be dealing with a Taurus or you could have Taurus in your chart. So I feel that this person no longer sees that with you. And that's possibly why you're scared, confused. And you know. Whoa, OK, that fell out there. You know, I feel that the two of you were on that same page. Because with these two reefs, you saw this person as. Um, yeah, look at the inf infinity sign symbol. This was something that was an endless, it was um, the love between the two of you was abundant. It was strong. You saw it as strong marriage material. And I feel that this person is going to come in swift, unexpected communication. Um, that And it's to do with that they don't see you as marriage material, long-term commitment. Just picking up this card on the floor. Um, so I feel as if now it kind of came out like this, OK, on the floor. So I feel that this person feels as if they've put a lot of um, a lot of work, a lot of nurturing into this connection. Uh, and I feel as if they were waiting. They, do, do you know something, Virgo? What did I say? You need to say something about your emotions. And I don't feel that that is um that makes you feel really uncomfortable, but that is what is required because it feels as if this person has been waiting, waiting for you to add to what they have been nurturing. And with that kind of lopsided, I almost feel as if the ball is very much in your court as to how this conversation is going to play out. And I feel that you will surrender. You will surrender to having a conversation, but you're going to be a little bit protective. You're a bit kind of conflicted, confused, a little bit scared. It's like, we're, it's like I, I almost can hear you saying, this has come out of the blue. What the heck? Look at that, the tower. The tower in reverse is this person resisting this connection resisting change resisting reconciliation there's nothing here that talks about reconciliation but i'm picking up that you want to kind of get to the bottom of this hence why you are going towards this person with the strength in 
the infinity, the endless strength of this connect connection. Something that is um, abundant. Something that you saw as strong, solid. The tower is, this person is resisting change. They're resisting this connection in some shape, form or another. And that is why I feel you're going to see that from a higher perspective. So even though I feel that there is something you need to speak quite strongly with the blue coming out and with emotions, it's something higher than that. This person could be operating from a place of fear, scared. But the tower in reverse, this person is resisting change. Wow, okay. And with the Knight of Wands in reverse, I feel as if this person, they either have seen you as somebody that was not 100% committed to this relationship, a bit of in and out, that is that face up. They themselves may have been a little bit 50-50, a bit unsure. That's in reverse. So it's either they are now going to come to a realisation that they, I feel that they want to walk away, I'll be honest with you, and they're resisting you coming in to say, no, I'm in this for the long haul. They're going to resist that. I feel that this is your energy going towards them to bring about change, but they're resisting it. And this, um, why this is in reverse is that you're no longer wishy-washy over this relationship. As far as you're concerned, you felt that this relationship was strong. But like I say, it's something, a conversation that needs to be had. It's like this person needs to hear you say something. Let's, woo, thank you. I was going to say, let's continue. They obviously wanted me to continue. Wow. Okay. A lot of reversals here. So we've got the seven of cups in reverse. Um, This person, I feel as if they either see you as not choosing them or they are not choosing you. And they are, um, there's no misunderstanding with that. And that's possibly why you're going to be a bit protective. I also feel as if with that seven of cups, um, there is a lot of love between the two of you. But there seems to be that I feel as if there has been a lot of misunderstanding, miscommunication in the past. And I'll be honest with you, Virgo, it may have to do with something that you're not expressing to do with love. And it's like this person has been waiting for that conversation and it just kind of didn't happen. And I feel as if they are now thinking, well, if it ain't going to happen now, it ain't never going to happen. And I feel as though, um, I feel as though, yeah, they're definitely going to resist anything that you're going to say. Because it's like, it was like too little, too late. I feel that this person is insecure. Can't make a decision. But they also could be quite overwhelmed with the conversation that I feel that is being guided that has to happen. Insecure, they may be, do you know what? This person may come in unexpected. And say something that is going to shake you up a little bit. They're resisting this connection. And I feel it's because they're feeling insecure. Because you may have given off that um, vibe. That you weren't like 100% in it with them. I feel whatever you're going to say to this person... You're strong about it. You're going to be strong about whatever it is you're going to respond to this person. But they're still feeling really insecure over the conversation. Yeah, look at this. This person is your nine of cups. 
You've got nothing but love for this person. That's why you're so confused. Like, where is this coming from? And I feel that you feel real hurt, really kind of confused, unsure. But you feel the nine of um, cups for this person. This person is your wish fulfillment, your happiness. Is look at that, look at that, eight and nine cups. It's like this person's insecure with this love. There's, I reckon they know that you have a lot of love for them. But for some reason, they feel quite insecure about it. That's why you're being guided, um, Virgos, to look at things from a, a different perspective. Because actually, this may not even be about you. This may actually be about them. And that's why the wisdom of that spider woman co-creating, I feel is really important because how you deal with this, how you reassure them, how you move on from this is what is going to solidify how you guys deal with challenging conversations in the future. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify How does the soulmates of Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Thank you. So with the magician in reverse, I feel as if um, either you're going to feel as if your emotions are playing tricks on you. Or what you manifested in this connection, it's like that's what you're confused about because it feels as if the abundance, the strength, the victory, the waking of the lion, the sun that I'm seeing that's coming out, particularly in this card, the solar plexus, the brightness, this person you saw as your wish fulfillment. And I feel that this is somebody that you had manifested and this is in reverse now because you kind of got what you wanted. Now you're confused. Now you're thinking to yourself, well, hold on a minute. Is, is, is the universe playing tricks on me? Because it's like you're totally shocked with whatever it is. This swift conversation is going to come towards you. But do you know something? They're going to be very passionate about it. Very, very gung ho, very strong about what it is they're saying and I feel that you're just going to be you're just going to be totally confused my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you clarify yeah look at that you want a new beginning you want a new beginning with this person and I feel that that is the olive that's what you're going to offer with this person a new beginning to kind of get out of this internal conflict that I feel that is playing tricks on you. You know that this connection is solid. Again, look at the yellow coming in. That's your energy. That's your energy. You have the power, the wisdom, the knowledge within you to look at this situation from a higher perspective. It's like this person's feeling really nervous in this connection with you because there's something that they're expecting you to say, communicate. And look at that. With Look at that. The seven again. The seven, seven. If seven is a significant number for you, you want to fight for this connection. But you're a bit scared. Oh, look at that. Whoever you are connecting with, male or female, you do see them as um, that empress energy. Somebody that you want to settle down with, have a family with. You see this person as somebody that um, has high standards. Somebody that, um, yeah, you just think the world of. This is somebody that you, I feel, w would want to marry if you're not married already. Have a family with. You want to fight for them, but you're scared. I don't know if that's in the camera. You want to fight for this person, but you are scared. 
I feel that the initial initiation of the conversation is going to come via a text message. Which is almost going to twist you up even more, Virgo, because you're going to go, you're going to be like, OK, we need to have a face to face conversation. And you know something? That's why I feel that you're very much in their energy. It almost feels as if the two of you are going to have a bit of a face off once and for all. But you want to fight for this connection because you do see this person as marriage material. Somebody that you want to have a family with, male or female. Let's have a look at your advice messages. Thank you. What? Oh, Virgos, can I not make that up or what? Communicate. What was I saying all through your reading? Communication. There's something you need to speak with your throat chakra to do with your emotions that makes you feel uncomfortable, but it needs to be done. It says communicate with others more freely. Speak up. You have the right to be heard. This person needs to know how you feel, but also as well, you have the right to let this person know that you don't know where this is coming from. This communication that's coming into you, you don't understand. Speak up. Speak up. You have the power within you. And I feel that this card here reminds me a lot of the sun. I feel that it will be successful, but you're being guided to look at things from a different perspective. This isn't about you. This is about this person. They are um they they are insecure. And they are resisting change. They're resisting this connection. And look at that trust. Oh, my God. That's why you're being guided to connect with divine spirit universe. They will help you say what you need to say. And like I said, with this co-creation of this spider woman, how you deal with this situation is almost going to set you guys up with how you deal with challenging conversations, challenging situations. It says trust in your intuition, in what you are feeling, sensing, seeing or experiencing. Absolutely. So whatever you are feeling here, it is real. OK, but look at the higher perspective. It's because this person is resisting this connection because they're feeling insecure, because I feel as if you may have portrayed that you weren't in this connection fully with them. Now is the time to change that, um, Virgos. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me your final advice message for Virgo wow can't believe that communicate came out because that was the whole alchemist there's balance that needs to be restored and I feel that you will level up and look at that friends well this card wanted to come out as well so I'm going to take it Friends, spend more time with your friends. Share your thoughts with someone who understands you. I feel as if you're being guided to stay connected with Divine Spirit Universe because they will show you what it is you need to speak in a way that will set the pattern, set um, the future, root down how you guys speak to each other when it comes to challenging conversations. And do you know something they're just saying to me? By perhaps conversing with your closest friends, they may actually help you see something, this whole situation from the higher perspective, from a higher perspective, so that you can actually go in there with a different mindset rather than perhaps being defensive to actually be open and reassure this person in some shape, form. OMG, it's okay to ask for help is not a sign of weakness. What was I just, just this minute saying? Speak to your spirit team. They will guide you. Speak to your friends. They will guide you. And I feel as if they will show you um, that higher perspective that you need to be equipped to wake the lion within you to um, clarify, to clear something up, to speak some sort of truth to do with your third eye chakra. Sorry, your throat chakra. Third eye chakra came out of my mouth and that doesn't, that doesn't, that is not a coincidence. 
I feel that you're, yeah, you're being guided with your third eye here. Well, it's, it's, it's splattered all with the heart, solar plexus coming in, throat chakra coming in. It's like you've got to see something from a higher perspective. You may have to, oh my gosh, you may have to wear a little bit of a mask to mask how you are really feeling. Virgos, this isn't about you, you know. This is about the person you're connecting with. It feels as if they're getting cold feet in the connection. And it's because you need to communicate something to reassure them. Ask your spirit team, they will guide you, they will help you. Ask close confidence, they may give you that verbal 3D human language to help you see this from a higher perspective. But you've got this, Virgo. You know um, it is uncharted territory for you, but I feel as if it's going to be worth it. Definitely. All right, I'm going to leave that there, Virgos. If it resonates, please click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye-bye.